In order to calculate the rate of reaction from a graph, it's useful to first remember what we mean by rate of reaction. We are interested in how the concentration of reactants or products change over time. And because we normally talk about concentration in units of moles per decimeter cubed and time in seconds, the units are almost always going to be moles per decimeter cubed per second. So if I'm using a graph to calculate the rate of reaction, I would expect to see the concentration of a reactant or product on one x-axis on one axis and time on the other axis. I might expect my graph to look something like this. In this example, A must be a reactant because its concentration is decreasing over time. And you might notice that the rate at which it is decreasing slows down as my reaction progresses. In order to calculate the rate of reaction at a specific time in my reaction, we need to consider how the concentration of A is changing over a given period of time. And to do this, we need to draw a tangent to my line at the time at which we are considering. So let's take, for example, time equals zero, uh, which is the very beginning of the reaction, otherwise known as the initial rate of reaction. So let's draw a tangent to the line at time equals zero. In order to calculate the rate of reaction at time equals zero, we need to calculate the change in concentration over the change in time. So I'm going to take the points where my tangent is touching both axes and try and calculate each of those values. Let's add some numbers to make it a clearer example. Using the numbers on the y-axis, I can calculate the change in concentration represented by that tangent which is, well, 0 0.6 minus 0, 0.0. And by adding some numbers to the x-axis, I can see that the change in time is 5. So my rate of reaction at that point in the reaction, or time equals 0, is going to be 0 0.12 moles per decimeter cubed per second. And I could write those units on one line like this. And I can repeat this process at as many different time values in my reaction by doing the same thing, drawing a tangent at the curve and then calculating the rate. If I was asked to calculate the rate at 10 seconds, for example, my tangent might look something like this. Again, I look at where my tangent hits the x and y axis and I can calculate the change in concentration and then divide it by the change in time. Hopefully this video is of some help.